I think a lot of times as business owners or influencers, whatever that you want to call us, entrepreneurs, our own personal brand, we feel obligated to produce content all the time. And that takes up a bandwidth. When I have north of 2000 quick tip videos, and I don't think we as people that post social media repurpose our content enough. And that for me is the next three months is a hundred. You feel like it always needs to be something new, but as long as your message stays the same, you know, you gain and lose fans. So like you, when you said like, you just got to keep posting. So they see what your message is that for me hit so home. And I think we got to get out of the game of feeling like we always have to be producing. Yeah. Thank you, Austin. I'm glad that resonated with you. And even like down to like, if a post performed really well, repost it, like go back and dig through and repost it. Two reasons. One, you know, Instagram's not pushing out that post to every single one of your followers. They're not seeing it. Two, you've probably gotten new followers since you posted that. So, you know, and, and then three, if somebody sees it twice, great. <laughs> so yeah, definitely re repurpose it. Yeah, that's a good point too. I forgot about, it kind of goes with um, uh, a recent theory that I heard, which is like, if you sell somebody a product and they're on an email list, everyone's panicking that you need to remove them from that email list of the same sales pitch. When in reality, it actually reinforces them and encourages them. Oh, I just bought this book. I, I got to read it again. Exactly. Uh, well, uh, the, the, go ahead. The, the what, what we do, and, and I'd love to hear your viewpoint on this, you know, Instagram came out with the rooms, right? Live, the four people. Mm -hmm. And we're doing one tonight. I'm doing one the next day. Like I've done a lot. And there's so much value in cross pollinating audiences of different oh sectors gosh. and different businesses. And people find oh me, gosh. they find my podcast. It's changing my, my reach. So it's, so that's, that would, if we, the presentation was longer, we would actually went into that because collaboration is a huge, huge part of growth. And like, you know, sometimes I, I have clients come to me and, and they're wondering why they, they're not growing in followers. And it's because they're not collaborating with other people. So like, th again, this is not Facebook 2012, right? This is a set, we're dealing with saturated platforms. All right. And we're it's just as well to say it. And so the more that you can collaborate with like-minded people doing the lives, the rooms, even getting shout outs on different accounts, um, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, you said like podcasts. Like I look at someone's Instagram account now and if they're doing well and they have like a big number of followers, my initial, my initial reaction is not that they had anything to do with their Instagram content. It's actually that they have different sources out there on the internet leading people back to their Instagram. So if you have a, a podcast, a YouTube channel, even if it's like a Facebook page, a TikTok, Clubhouse, like you can get followers from all of those different types of platforms. And it's really important to be, like you said, awesome cross pollinating, and then also just using those other places to draw your followers into your Instagram if that's where you're getting you you want to draw them to Instagram. Sorry to go on about this. You want to draw them to Instagram because Instagram is a great place to build relationships and a great place to sell. So it's a great place to have those people be. 